Okay, so I'm gonna give a full description of the wig first, show you guys the unboxing, and we're just gonna jump right into me installing the wig. So this wig is a body wig, human hair lace front. It's a 13 by one. So let me kind of explain what a 13 by one is. So it's 13 inches of parting space, I guess, or it's 13 inches wide among from ear to ear. And then it's one inch parting space. So it's definitely giving me like frontal lace closure vibes because it's a bunch of lace right here that you can like pluck with or whatever. And then they give you one inch of parting space. Which is not bad because I love me a closure. Like, I will prefer a closure over a frontal any day. So, I actually like the whole theme that they're trying to do. So, it was pretty cool. That's why I was interested in reviewing the wig. Um, this wig is from Amazon and the company's name is Ali Glossy. And it is 100% human hair and it's 20 inches long. So, I'm going to show you guys the pack. It came in an Amazon pa um, bag. You know, a little Amazon bag. It came in this little cute pink box, and then it had blue on the sides of it. And it came with the rubber band on it. And on the back of it, it gives the description of the wig. T part, body wave, human hair, natural hairline, and it's 20 inches long. It comes in this bag, and it shows the description of the wig. Something, so I'm probably going to scratch it off at the end of the video to see what we won. So we, we win, okay? <laughs> And then it gives us the card and it gives you guys the after sale service and it gives their information on how you can get in contact with them. And then it shows you guys like how to like deal with the hair as far as like tangling, things like that. It comes with a wig cap and it comes with some lashes. So let's open up this wig. Let's see what it's all about. So this is, oh, this looks nice. It feels pretty heavy. Maybe it's just, this feels heavy, like not heavy, like baggy but it feels like a pretty decent like it feels good it's nice and so this hair smells good too okay okay everyone and it's flowing through the hair nice i'm not getting any shedding right now i was gonna highlight the wig but i don't want the same thing to happen to my last wig so let me show you guys the inside of it so this is what they mean by the one part spacing so it's really not much that you can do with the parting but i actually like that because I'm I'm a middle part type of girl anyway, and this is what it looks like. So there is knots that need to be covered. There, these are some thick knots though. I ain't even gonna lie. But as far as like the wig construction, it looks really nice. Let me show you guys the inside of the wig. So the inside of the wig has the three combs, right, and then the one in the middle, and then it has the comb inside of the back, and it's pretty stretchy. I think this, I believe this is a 22 inch, I mean 22 um, size cap. Um, yeah, I'm really obsessed with this wig and it's 50% density and it's definitely feeling like 50% because I'm feeling like how thick it is and it's feeling nice and thick. So I am going to see how I'm going to figure this out in terms of if I need to pluck it. I feel like I do because it is a fun tool. Um, We'll see. Let me get back to y'all. Let me kind of figure this out a little bit, try it on, give you guys my opinion, and I'll be right back. Hey, y'all, don't mind the lace right now. I'm just trying to like see what the wig is looking like right now. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels nice and airy and light. It is pretty full to be 150% density. It's nice. Now, I thought it was gonna be a little longer, but it is 20 inches. So. Not too mad at some of this because this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. We have to pluck some of that. So I'm gonna pull it down. Oh my god, I look like you know when you do the um the stocking cap method and they put the thing over your face. Like that's what I look like right now, but I can still see you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you guys more of the parting space and this type of situation here. It's cute. I definitely want to pluck it a little bit more because I just want it to look a little bit more realistic so it kind of matches with the part right here. So I'm going to do a little bit of plucking, show you guys how I do the plucking, and then I'm going to come right back and we're going to do the full installation. I look crazy like this, but it's all good because I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I was playing with the wig and I'm like, yeah, we got to see it. We got to pluck this wig out because sis is out here with knots and everything but I don't plan on bleaching the knots on this wig because 
oh no, I'm just not gonna do it. So this is what the wig looks like. As you can see, you see the knots and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna part the wig. I'm gonna push the hair back. I'm gonna part the wig. I see if I can do it as thin as possible because I don't want to um, I just cracked on my arm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with this side and I know the trick to this is not to um what do you call it? Not to wet it. So I'm going to take some tweezers and start plucking. <laughs> This is what it looks like, and I think I'm going to just keep it like that for now. You probably can't see because of the glue, but that's what it's looking like. Just keep it looking a little natural. It feels foundation to make the part more realistic and I did some plucking by the hairline so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the wig so this doesn't give you enough parting space to pluck either so even though it's 13 by 1 it is 13 inches uh, by, from ear to ear to not really part but like to pluck but it's not really much to pluck so I was having a hard time like trying to like understand like how I should pluck the wig in terms of oh excuse me in terms of me actually like using it and stuff like that but I mean if you're someone who likes frontals who 
doesn't want to do like the whole plucking scene like i think this wig would be really perfect for you um i'm one of those people that don't really like frontals like that like i really don't care too much for them because for me doing it myself like i'm not great at plucking at all but i'm still learning um but i do love this wig i do like the fact that it does look very realistic and i didn't have to do much to it i didn't use a hot comb to flatten it out it just was nice and flat um and all i did was just brush and comb the wig now about the inches now this is supposed to be 20 inches and i mean it's 20 inches but i'm gonna really say it's like 18 like it literally comes to like right here so i'm gonna say it's probably about 18 inches it does say 20 inches but i'm gonna say 18 but i do like that the wig is full in the back it feels nice and full and especially like right here it feels full and it's really nice and soft so i really do enjoy this wig it is really nice and it's really pretty and sleek um i do want to add some curls to it or i might straighten it i'm not sure what i want to do to it yet but i do like it in this little texture it looks really cute and effortless looks like i just put some curls in it and just brushed it out but i do like it it's really really nice i just wish that the wig was just a little bit longer in terms of it being 20 inches usually 20 inches comes to like right about here and yeah but i do like it it's very cute and it's very pretty and it was 105 dollars on amazon so that's not bad i think that is a really good investment if you want a frontal but you don't want to do like the whole bucket situation i think this would be perfect the only thing is with this wig you can't pluck um as far as you want to because you'll start to see the tracks but as far as the wig being the wig it looks good i like it um it's easy the only thing is I glue it down, but the gluing wasn't even hard. Like, it wasn't hard to do in terms of that. But I like it. I think it's cool. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know what you guys want to see next on the wig. But I did definitely transform the wig because it was looking a little bit, like, flat. So I just kind of plucked it down a little bit. Put down in the comment section down below if you like this wig, if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I think it's a thumbs up. I think it looks cute. I think it's very cute. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching and hanging out with me. And don't forget to turn on your post. Lord have mercy. Why is it that I can't speak? Make sure you turn on your post notifications. So you can get notifications from me and mad stuff just dropped. So I'm going to try that again. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get notifications from your girl. And without any further ado, I'm out of here. Oh, these nails. <laughs> I got to do something about them. But um, I will see you guys. I'm going to upload. Bye.